with the Payne family. It's Sarah, Greg, Madeline. Madeline's snoozy, <laughs> yep. a little snoozy. She should be. She got, what, up at 2 o'clock this morning? Yep, yep, you know, she did. <laughs> I'd be snoozy, too, if I got up at 2 o'clock this morning. <laughs> Welcome. It's good to see you guys again. Thank good you. Good to see you, too. So getting up in the morning and getting things rolling, a little bit of a challenge? A little bit of a challenge, yep. But okay. we're here. <laughs> I see that. And Ava is here, too. But um, she has discovered the wonderful wagons that are here. And I know sometimes you don't think they're so wonderful <laughs> because when you're coming in for your checkups and you already yeah. have the stroller and then another wagon in tow, a little over <laughs> yeah, over the top of that. Ava is an adventurous girl. So she'll be running around Gunderson during this interview and finding things. She's pretty at home here. She's a wonderful little sister. She is. Yeah. And Miss Madeline with her fifth birthday a few days ago? Yes, Maddie is five. She hasn't had her party yet, but she did celebrate her birthday at home on Tuesday, and she turned five, and she'll have a party coming up next weekend. Well, congratulations, Miss Maddie. Yeah. And I, I just let her snooze. Yeah, let her that's, snooze. We couldn't do anything different if we tried. When she sleeps, she sleeps. Um, just a quick a quick history. Tell us about mm -hmm. um, Maddie, how she how she came into the story here with Children's Miracle Network? Sure. So I had a normal pregnancy with Maddie, um, normal labor, normal delivery, and we came home with a healthy baby. And then over the pa over probably her first two years, she started developing other problems. So seizures, developmental delays, things just weren't quite right. Um, she got hearing aids, and then she wasn't eating enough, so she got a G-tube to help with her feedings, which was a big help. Did you guys know what to do? With that G-tube, had, had you had any experience with anything um, like that? I've had students before through my job that have had it, and mm -hmm. so it wasn't a total shock, but it's a new thing to learn and a new yep. process to take care of. It's actually really handy because you know they're getting like the most appropriate nutrition, all the hydration that they need. It's going in. There's no fighting your toddler to eat what you want them to eat. So that part is good. Um, then she had, we found she had an immune deficiency. She was getting sick a lot. So now she gets injections for antibodies to help with that. Um, she has some braces that she wears to help like her leg strength. Spine brace, glasses. Mm -hmm. She has seizures every once in a while. So now she's medicated for that. <laughs> Lots of hand washing at your house. Oh, yeah. Lots of hand washing. Lots of hand sanitizer. You know, and it's got to be a little, you know, um, scary, too. It's like, uh-oh, sniffles are in the house. Yeah. You know, and you do everything you can possibly do, you know, yeah. to keep sniffles from spreading. Um, some really good news. You have a new piece of equipment. We do. Tell us about that. Yeah. So Maddie gets cold and flu season is our worst thing. Mm -hmm. And she'll get a cold like every child does, but she will need oxygen. And so we have oxygen equipment at home, but then you're homebound because you have to have this huge concentrator machine plugged into the wall. And it's better than being in the hospital, but you're still kind of thinking, oh, I wish I could go somewhere. Homebound. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And life is still going on around you, but you're stuck there. So through Children's Miracle Network, Madeline got a portable oxygen concentrator, which is wonderful because otherwise to travel or even to take her to medical appointments, you'd have to bring those big metal tanks of oxygen and you have to calculate, well, how many tanks do I need to be out for two hours? And what if I run out of tanks? You can't just run and get one. So you would have to just do all of this um, prep work. There is work. a lot to just get into the store. Yeah. There yeah. is a lot. Right. You know, when you talk about calculating... I mean, you don't even think of that kind of thing, you know? Right. You're so used to sometimes just grabbing your purse and going, and that's not the yeah, case. Yeah, not the case. You've got to plan things out. Yeah, so she got a portable concentrator, which is just like a small box is all, and it's got a digital readout and a strap that you could wear, like, uh, over your shoulder, and we hang it on her wheelchair, and then you just program in how much oxygen she needs, and it goes, and it has a bunch of extra chargeable batteries, and you can charge it in your car and things like that. So, so that's did, a big gift. Did somebody come along with it to help you learn all this? I mean, how did that happen? No, I had wanted one and I thought, oh, I'll just get this through insurance. Like this is no big deal because getting the other types of oxygen is easy through insurance. Mm -hmm. This is not. And so I was finding that we were getting denied through insurance and I knew it would be so helpful because we travel a lot um, to the Twin Cities for appointments and you almost wouldn't have enough tanks to go from La Crosse to the Twin Cities, do a day of appointments and then drive back to La Crosse. There's just not enough. And so for her to do the appointments, I thought we need this portable concentrator. How much is it? Well, of course, it's like $3,200. $3,200. Yeah, and then not covered at all by insurance because they want you to just use the tanks. How long did you try to source it out through the insurance company? Do you remember how long that took? This battle's like been about six a year. Months. Yeah, yeah, six months to a several year. Several months. So it 
you guys have been working on this. We were, yeah, with the help of Maddie's social worker, too, was helping with it. And then she said, you know what, just let's stop fighting the insurance battle. Just ask CMN. And then, of course, they approved it right away. And then it came in the mail because there was no paperwork, none of, like, the hoops to jump through. So that is wonderful. So now we can go places and just having the security of knowing, oh, we have this in the car. If something were to go wrong, we can just quick turn it on. It's not a big deal. Um, we were in the Dells last year when we had the tanks and we ran out because we didn't think she would need it. And so my dad had to drive <laughs> from La Crosse to bring more tanks. And now we won't have that problem anymore. So that's you know, really and nice. Peace of mind. Yeah. Huge, huge yep. peace of mind to have that piece of equipment. Yeah. And I have to tell you, over the last two and a half days, well, over the years, it never fails. We hear something, a new piece of equipment, mm -hmm. um, something in the yard, something to adapt in your bathroom at home to mm -hmm. accommodate. Every year there is something new that's mm -hmm. needed, and guess who jumps in to help? Right. You know, Amen. Yep. I mean, that's amazing. Yeah. So our number here is 784-KIDS-5437. And you guys know that we're in our, this is the final few hours. Mm -hmm. I can't thank you enough for coming in yeah. and starting your day off really super early. <laughs> <laughs> so Sarah, you, um, during, the, during the week, you're the one that gets up early. Yeah. On the I, weekend, it's dad's turn to get up early. Well, is that how that works? Because of recent illness, I haven't been back at work yet. And mm -hmm. so during the week, since Greg is working, yep. I do the overnights and whatnot because he's going to work. But it's still tiring even though I'm not at work well, <laughs> during the is, week. And I see that. Yeah. So because so. the two of you are um, on empty, yeah. we are going to say thank you for stopping in. <laughs> and we will keep you updated because we are having an amazing year going here. We are. And we have a great team that came out. And yeah. I know people have yep. been waiting to call in for Maddie's hour. And it's our last day. So hopefully they call well, in Well, you're today. not going anywhere. You're just going to go enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah. That's all. That's yeah. all. But we have Team Madeline right here, and they're taking the calls. And if you can hear the chatter going on, the calls are coming in. <laughs> Thank you so much for Thank stopping you. by. It's really good to see you guys. Take care, and we'll see you soon. Yep. Thank Great. you. Great. You're listening to the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals Radiothon, a service of the Lacrosse Media Group.